Did you know about the angel Seraphim? According to Christianity, Seraphim are among the highest ranking celestial beings, depicted as six winged angels who serve in close proximity to God's throne. They are described in the book of Isaiah 6 1 7, where they are seen praising God continuously with the words, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty, the whole earth is full of his glory. These angels are associated with divine purity and sanctification, symbolizing the fiery presence of God that purifies and cleanses. Did you know about the angel Cherubim? According to Christianity, Cherubim are powerful and complex celestial beings, often depicted as guardians of sacred spaces and divine knowledge. They are described in the Bible, particularly in the book of Ezekiel and Genesis, as having multiple faces and wings, symbolizing their multifaceted nature and close proximity to God. Cherubim are traditionally seen as protectors of the divine presence and symbols of divine wisdom, often associated with guarding the entrance to the Garden of Eden and the Ark of the Covenant. In Christianity, thrones are a class of angels within the first sphere of the angelic hierarchy, closest to God. They are often depicted as celestial beings who embody divine justice and authority, carrying out God's judgments and will. Thrones are described as wheels covered in eyes, symbolizing their ability to see and understand all of God's creations. Their primary role is to maintain divine order and peace, ensuring that the will of God is executed throughout the cosmos. Thrones serve as the chariots of God's will, supporting and upholding the heavenly realm with their unwavering commitment to divine law and justice. In Christianity, dominions, also known as dominations, are a class of angels within the second sphere of the angelic hierarchy, serving as heavenly governors who oversee the lesser orders of angels. They are responsible for regulating angelic duties and ensuring the divine order of the cosmos. Dominions are often depicted as serene and majestic beings, wielding scepters or orbs as symbols of their authority. Their primary role is to transmit God's commands and maintain harmony in the universe by directing the actions of lower-ranking angels, ensuring that God's will is executed with precision and balance. Dominions are seen as intermediaries between the higher, celestial orders and the material world, embodying the power and authority of divine governance. In Christianity, virtues are a class of angels in the second sphere of the angelic hierarchy, known as the spirits of motion and control over the natural world. They are responsible for bestowing blessings, performing miracles and maintaining the balance of nature. Often associated with divine strength and courage, virtues are seen as the angels that empower individuals to pursue goodness and virtue in their lives. They are also believed to govern the elements and celestial bodies, ensuring that the natural order of the universe aligns with God's will. As agents of grace and miracles, Virtues help to channel divine energy into the world, inspiring faith and guiding humanity towards spiritual growth. In Christianity, powers are a class of angels within the second sphere of the angelic hierarchy, tasked with maintaining the balance between good and evil in the cosmos. They are often regarded as warrior angels, entrusted with the protection of the world from demonic forces and the preservation of cosmic order. Powers are responsible for overseeing the distribution of power among humanity, ensuring that authority and strength are used according to God's will. They are also believed to be involved in guarding the pathways between heaven and earth, preventing the influence of evil spirits from disrupting the divine order. As protectors and regulators, powers play a crucial role in sustaining the moral and spiritual integrity of creation. In Christianity, principalities are a class of angels within the third sphere of the angelic hierarchy, responsible for overseeing and guiding nations, cities, and institutions. They are considered guardians of the earthly realm, ensuring that leaders and rulers act in accordance with divine principles. Principalities inspire and influence human leaders to make just and moral decisions, promoting peace and righteousness in society. They are also believed to protect specific groups of people and are often associated with the enforcement of divine law on a larger scale. As intermediaries between the higher orders of angels and the human world, principalities help to align earthly affairs with God's will, ensuring that spiritual order is maintained in the physical realm. 
In Christianity, archangels are a class of angels within the third sphere of the angelic hierarchy, known for their powerful roles as God's chief messengers and warriors. They are tasked with carrying out important missions on behalf of God, often involving protection, guidance, and delivering significant messages to humanity. Archangels are seen as leaders among the angels, with Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael being the most well-known. Michael is often depicted as a warrior fighting against evil, Gabriel as a messenger who brings divine revelations, and Raphael as a healer and protector. Archangels serve as intermediaries between God and humanity, ensuring that divine will is communicated and executed effectively on earth. In Christianity, angels are spiritual beings created by God to serve as his messengers and servants. They are the lowest rank in the angelic hierarchy, but are the most directly involved in human affairs. Angels are tasked with delivering God's messages, providing guidance, offering protection, and assisting individuals in times of need. They are often depicted as benevolent beings of light with wings, symbolizing their ability to move swiftly between heaven and earth. Angels also play a role in worshiping God and carrying out His will, acting as intermediaries between the divine and the human. Their presence is a reminder of God's care and intervention in the world, guiding and guarding humanity on their spiritual journey.